Hello, and welcome back to Wasteland 3. I'm Alan Enraged. Let's get started. Loading screens. Riveting gameplay. The last two episodes. The first one we created, myself and Kimber, my lovely girlfriend. And then the second one we created, Shinny and Cringe, my best friends. Not their real names. Just their online handles. We discovered a scary robot that requires somebody being good at mechanics. Which nobody is. So we'll leave the scary robot be. And continue to explore our base. We discovered a trap. Look at all this machinery. If we can get it all running, this will be a good spot for your armory. Explosives level two. Does anybody have explosives? No. So how do we get past him if we don't have the explosives? Do we shoot it? Little bit closer. Shoot it, shoot it. Shoot the trap. Shoot it with your gun. Well, that was a horrible mess. Try again. Alright, get a little bit closer. Like, in this corner right here, shoot this trap. Shoot it. Shoot. It is taking damage. Somebody just take damage? I don't know. But you know, that works. It is a perfectly good way to disarm traps. Just use a pistol with three bullets, loot the trash can, get some spikes, some energy cells, just a whole bunch. People are just throwing away perfectly good ammunition. What do you want? The, this terminal is displaying information about the base's systems. All seems normal right now. Check recent activity logs for this terminal. The only log you can find on this terminal relates to a massive data wipe from several decades ago. This terminal is displaying information about the base's systems. Blada blada blada. Open this door. Rotate. Step away. Step away. Shoot it. I like. Is it gonna stop? Ha ha! Worth it. Gives me a grenade. But oh, come on! Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Roll. Why aren't you rolling? Can you just stop burning, please? Is there nothing I can... Okay, I think he's done. I think he's done burning. What did he get caught on fire from? Oh, so rude. Well, that was it for that room. Um, yeah, let's go. keep going. Can I go in here? No, the rebel won't let me. I don't want to forget about that thing that was outside. Pretty Looks grand like a small in here. building. Maybe you can make it your trophy hall or museum or something, or a handball court. Ah, oh, come on. Thank you. 
I make that shot? No? Can't be all the people. Where are the rest of the people? No, seriously, where the hell is everybody else? One, two, three, four. This a-hole never came with. When you've been spotted by an enemy, each ranger in your squad has a chance to take the first combat turn with a higher initiative stat, increasing that chance. To get a higher initiative, you can increase your speed attribute and your sneaky shit skill. Hey, you. Nobody move. We've got a shinny on the way. Wearing his purple jumpsuit. <gasps> ah, really, dude? All right, how do I end your turn? You are also an assault rifle guy. Ouch! What the heck? Do you think that's even fair? Is that what you consider a good time? Dang it. Maybe don't shoot me? Okay, cool. Why does Shinny have so little action points? Hello, cringe. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Wolverine fur. Icy carapace shard. Cool. And more fur. Hey, can we grab everybody? Can you stop being poisoned? Let's move forward. More dollars, a tin can, just loot everything. Stop looking at everything separately. I hear a robot. Mm, what the heck is that? Somebody like turn the lights on in here? Ammo, dollars, crusty nose ring. Romancing the ghost. A stirring paranormal romance about one woman and her ectoplasmic paramour. Making a lot of money, that's for sure. Oh, there's something here. A fallen billboard? Who put it here? Alright. Can I move it? The power button on the machine resists your press, seemingly rested in place. It takes... it makes a sandy crunch as it finally gives way. The screen comes to life with a sad beep. 
Raid failure, corruption detected across multiple sectors, initiating automated repair operations. Recovery complete, view recovered logs. I'll examine the personnel logs. There are fewer logs than you'd expect for a base of this size. Many have suffered data corruption and are unrecoverable, but you find a few that are legible. Nerd Stuff 3, try to recover some of the logs. This file is encrypted. You're able to find the custom script that did it and reverse engineer the key. Thank you, Shinny, with your nerd stuff. We don't have enough nerd stuff for the next one. Alright. Personnel Log, 2nd Lieutenant Halcott, 15th September, 1995. He fixed his gaze on the monitor, fingers deftly tapping the keys, expertly covering his tracks as he pulled data from the system. Lieutenant Amor kept stealing glances back at him, enraptured by his steely blue eyes as she watched the doorway for the guards. Have you found the evidence yet, Captain Halcombe? We don't have much time left. The captain hit a few more keys and nodded. He pulled the floppy disk from the drive and signaled to the lieutenant. Quickly, back to the vent. Ladies first, he said, helping Lieutenant Amor up to the ceiling ducts. Despite her generous curves, she nimbly slid into the duct, and Captain Halcombe was easily able to pull himself up and follow her, sliding the grate back into place just as guards swung by on their patrol. I don't know if that's a personnel log or more of, like, a romance novel. The world ended yesterday. Our missile defense system saved Colorado Springs, but Denver is gone and we can't make contact with anyone outside the state. Discipline will keep my men in line, but we've only got a few days until the civilians panic. We'll need to prepare to hold out until we can reconnect with Washington. All right. Read the old security logs. Filtering tools help you cull the routine and wholly corrupted reports. You may need a computer expert to access some of the files. 4-7-2000 Report 1. Classified information. Purge initiated. Report 2. Erasure complete. Command cleared. Fully autonomous security system activating in T-minus 30 minutes. Report 3. Intrusive movement detected on outer perimeter, monitoring. Report 4. Intruders retreated without engagement, monitoring. Nine years later, on the 26th of 5. Report 15. Intrusive movement detected on outer perimeter, monitoring. Report 16. Quadrupedal creature identified as non-hostile, monitoring, deprioritized. Report 25, Creature Remains. Report 88, Creature Departs, Incidents Monitored Without Engagement. 1846, Incidents Involving Security Response 5. 2010, January 22nd. Report 98, Intrusive Movement Detected on Outer Perimeter, Monitoring. Report 99, Bipedal Creature Approaches Facility, Deploying Servitors. Report 100, Intruber pacified. Incidents monitored without engagement. 2008. Incidents involving security response. 9. Report 100A. Automated amendment. Intention was for intruder. Logging technological review request with information technology. RE Report 100. 1128 2068. Report 750, Intruder 032 returns to War Room. Starts fire for Intruders 030, 031, 033. Intruder 034 is providing them with a meal. Logging requisition request for additional servitors. Following abduction of core servitors 005010 by Intruder 011. This request has been logged 1500 time. Priority elevated. Report 751. Attempting to wake remaining servitors. Wake attempt resulted in failure. Incidents monitored without engagement. 7242. 
Incidents involving security response, 15. Incidents with failed security responses, 1. Incidents with inability to respond, 4,000. Report 755, intruder 34, now classified as deceased. 826-2102. Reporb 001, system wake up complete. Axaxing database. No new information since catastrophic failure report bib at 1606-2071-623. Reporb 002, intruberbs 69 through 73, logged in war rube. Serpiters knob responding to Wagub instruction monitoring. Reporb 57. Intruber 71 is fully repairabid monitoring systems. Intruber 69 has gained axax to monitoring systems. Reporb 66. Self diagnostic complete. Serpiters 103, 22, and 616 present but unresponsive. Primary power unresponsive. Secondary power at 20%. Primary processing reports all good. 510-2107. Report 685. Intrusive movement detected at perimeter. Intruber 159 logged and approaching. Report 686. Intruber 158 detects Intruber 159 and returns to barracks. Various intruders seem perturbed and barricade doors to barracks. Report 690. Intruber 159 retrieves after accessing Warbrube and Warmery. Servitors remain unresponsive. Report 701. Intruber 156 departs barracks, enters brig, and accesses Compuber Tumernal. Horrible intruders. Report 702. Intruber 156 has initiated a Generaber Restarb. A power coming online. Servitors awaking. Reb alert. Let's do some nerd stuff to try to recover some of the security logs. Some bad metadata kept this file from filtering properly, but you're able to easily repair it. 14-2-1999. Report 002. Radio signal reconstructed from partial bursts over the past two months. Transcript follows. Good people of Arizona, we, the remaining officers of the 249th Engineer Battalion, have been unable to contact our leaders at Forcecom for too long, and have come to the unfortunate conclusion that our government has fallen. Every one of us here joins the army to protect the people of these United States, and even if the U.S. is no more, we intend to continue to protect you to the best of our ability. We've heard your cries for help on the radio, and we want you to know help is coming. Keep calling, shelter in place, and stay strong. We're on our way. Ooh, shelter in place. This message will repeat. Nerd stuff too. Try to recover some more. You fix an overwrite error at the start of this log and it becomes legible. Report 5, Citadel Star Station reports confirmed anti-ballistic countermeasures armed alert status raised to red. Report 77, no red tracking confirms multiple incoming contact signals. Protective countermeasures allocated to high priority targets. Personnel ordered to report to assigned stations in shelters. Report 221, CONR confirms countermeasures in local area 95% effective. Cannot raise communication with no red HQ or PACOM. Cannot raise communication with White House. I assume that's White House. Report 222, revised estimates of success rate of countermeasures outside of local area are 5%. Alert status remains red. Nerd Stuff 3. File termination characters are missing for these logs. Tricky, but you're able to find the proper spots to fix them. What'd you give me? 416, 2021. Report 72, primary generator failure reported at 202-2021-562 will result in catastrophic failure of security system if not resolved. Information technology has not responded to repair queries. Report 90, core servitors placed into sleep mode to preserve power to monitoring systems. Secondary processing system placed into sleep mode to preserve power to primary processing. Report 72A, automated amendment. Intention was for catastrophic. 
Logging Technological Review with Information Technology Rep RE Report 72. Report 91, System Setting Designation to Sleeping But Vigilant. That's all of that. We got all of those, and I assume a decent amount of XP for all that nerd crap. Alright, how do I move the billboard? Because, I mean, obviously, it wants me to talk to it, right? Maybe it doesn't want me to talk to the billboard. Maybe it's just like, hey, there's a billboard. Just finding a bunch of ammo. What is this? Can I look at this? Guess not. So, I definitely hear something in this room, and I can only imagine it's underneath the billboard. But apparently, I have no way to move the billboard. Which sucks, but... Because I really want to see what's up with the billboard. Can't go in there. Can go in here. Looks like there's people in there. Ooh, what's this? Cold food? The food on these tables is cold and partially eaten, but not rotten. It's clear someone recently fled mid-meal. Ooh, repair toaster? I don't have that skill because I was like, what is the point of repairing toasters? I did not know there'd be broken toasters. I should have had better foresight. Let's see what's in here. Please, don't shoot. The woman is gaunt, her clothes ragged. She is surrounded by a group of bedraggled vagrants who watch you with fear and mistrust. Who, who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. Where are the rangers? Who are you? I'm Del Hackett, and I, well, I, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and. We've got nowhere to go. Please, will you let us stay? Well, I speak for the trees. Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. Your recruits won't like it either. Mm, yeah, discipline. I like discipline. The Patriarch's people don't care about people like us. But you're not beholden to them. She shoots a fearful look at Quan, but he doesn't seem to notice. Hmm. Where are you from? We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Thought we were safe out there, under the Patriarch's protection. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> Not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. No place left to run but here for any of us. Did you set off the security system? Not intentionally. The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago, so we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left, all the doors slammed shut and the alarms started whooping. Don't know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks and we never set anything off before. Can't you go live in the city? We're not welcome there. They already have too many mouths to feed. And more are always coming. So. Kind of want to help them. But. I murdered somebody for. Deserting. I kind of go for like the whole discipline thing. I also think not too many people are kind of going to go. Maybe not the bad route, but the, just the kind of dick route. Like, the general dickishness. And I'm good at that. Like, sorry, but you can't stay in my base. I don't deal with squatters. This is my base. It was given to me by somebody, despite whether you live here. Like, somebody gave it to me, you live here, sorry, get out. Of course. That's what I knew you'd say. I lost reputation. We'll go to the city, then. Beg for food like the others do. Won't be any more trouble for you. Come on, everyone. That's all I ask. Gather up your things. Go to the city and beg for food. If 
we were a military organization here to save people, I would save you. But we're not. We're a military organization here to round up some bad kids. We are the future of Child Protective Services. Yeah, makes sense. Murder some kids. Kill yourself. Del said you'd make us leave. I shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. I mean, sorry, but you just you're bad for business. I wish we had guns. Then you couldn't push us around. Sorry. I guess we'll be living in the streets of the patriarch city now. Don't just make me feel like shit. I'm just doing my job. Don't trouble yourselves. <clears throat> we'll be gone when you come back. Thank you. Dell said you'd make us leave. I Shouldn't have gotten my hopes up. I wish we had guns. Oh, you just Del have a limited amount of voice lines. Up. Oh, you can customize your appearance. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Alright, let's go. Onwards. What's down here? Hey. Howdy. There's a guy in here. Don't mind us. Brig master key for when you want to mingle with some lawbreakers. Love it. Who's this? The body of a young man lies twisted on the floor. He wears shabby clothes, and he's been dead long enough for the body to go cold. But not long enough to rot. Hmm, let's try to establish a cause of death. The body's contorted limbs in proximity to an ancient computer seem to suggest a painful death by electrocution. Discoloration in the face suggests heart failure, which might be electricity, but there's a lack of burns, which makes that inconclusive. Some dried foamy spittle, barely detectable at the edges of the mouth, make poison a much more likely suspect. Let's search the body. This man is carrying nothing but the clothes he wore on his body, and those are tattered and grimy. His shoes have holes in their soles. Sweet smelling mushroom gained. In one of his pockets, you find a half eaten sweet smelling mushroom. You step away from the body. Alright, so obviously. I think you killed him by giving him a mushroom. The terminal displays information about the base's systems. Everything appears normal for the moment. Check recent activity logs for this terminal. Come through the logs, calling ancient messages and routine system notifications until you have a list of recent activations. OS. Wake initiated. Wake complete. Credentials rejected. Credentials accepted. Login admin. Password admin. OS. Loading. Default. Admin. Operations. Backup generators. Initialized. Automated. Security. Lockdown. Initiated. Login. Required. Credentials. Rejected. Credentials. Rejected. OS. Station. Locking out user due to multiple failed login attempts. The terminal displays information about the basis systems. Everything appears normal for the moment. Somebody leveled up. Kimber. Kimber leveled up. I'm yelling Kimber. 
I don't have enough points here. Okay. Starting at level four, your rangers will earn a perk point every other level. Perk points are used to unlock powerful abilities and passive bonuses. Perks become available to learn as you upgrade your skills. Okay, we can get some non-skill perks. We can get... says you're pretty good at making them oh making openings gotcha you're always looking for an opening and handguns are pretty good at making them for some reason i just i read you are pretty good at making openings <laughs> i don't know why but it gives your strike meter charges a bonus five percent with each successful handgun attack I mean, that's pretty good like, or i can just give you some flat health it's also pretty good I think doing that, I know it completely negates some um, whatever quirk we gave her, which is exactly what we want. We want to completely negate that shitty perk. I mean, it's a great perk, but it comes with some negatives. Um, you have a little bit of points in barter. I want to give you more first aid. Hmm. I gave. Oh, I'm confirming so far, alright? You are my animal whisperer. I think we'll save that one skill point, honestly. Yeah, we're gonna save it. We can get an attribute point. We need to fix our fuck up on small arms where we want coordination, luck, awareness. Coordination awareness, because both of those are just shit stats right now. Give you extra action points. Rakan's not bad right now. Alright, um. I don't know, one, one of you guys. Oop, go over here. We're gonna talk to the crazy prisoner, who I'm pretty certain poisoned that guy. Waving at you through the bars of a cell is a pale, rail thin man with matted hair and fraying, faded clothes. He gives you a lazy, glassy-eyed grin. Hey dudes, hi. Well, what's up? Haven't seen you before, have I? We're the new landlords. We're in charge here now. Oh, wow. Wow, hey. <laughs> New uh, landlords, that's cool, man, cool. I hope taking over's uh, going good for you. What, uh, what brought you out here? The Rangers help people. We're here to help Colorado. That's cool. Helping's good. I like helping. Uh, are there like more of you here? We've actually got a couple of questions for you, if you don't mind. Oh yeah, man, of course. I don't, I, I don't mind. Ask me whatever. What's your name? My name? Uh, yeah, ah, uh, Ned, Ned, Harry, Nick, Booger, Dickens, Lyle. You know, I don't know. Something like that. Honestly, I don't, you know, remember. Been a long time since I thought about that, man. Been a longer time since someone uh, asked me about it. I, I couldn't have been here for a while. How long have you been here? Couldn't tell you, man. Couldn't tell you. Like, there's no windows or clocks in here, you know? Hard to keep track of when the day, uh, when the day starts or ends. Anyway, a long time. Long enough for other groups, uh, other people to come and go. 
How have you survived? You know, man, I, uh, I got everything I need in here to keep on. Little, uh, little crack in the ceiling over there drips some water. So I just gotta, uh, lick the wall when I'm thirsty. And, uh, you know what they say about dark, damp spaces, man. Mushroom go there, man. <laughs> So I added a little self, uh, self-made fertilizer. Those mushrooms are growing good. You've been living off of wall water and mushrooms? Yeah, man, yeah. Yum, yum. Oh, yeah, and, uh, bugs, when they come by. Buzzy crunchers and climby snappers and skittery two bites and running gushers. Sometimes roly poppers and hoppy specks. Once a squirmy slurp. Ooh, a squirmy slurp. Man of good taste. That was a good day, man. Oh, I bet. But yeah, mainly mushrooms. Can you tell us about any of the groups? that lived here before us? Yeah, sure, uh, maybe. Sometimes, like, a guy might come in, but I don't know if he was connected to the guy who came in before him, you know? Kinda, kinda hard to keep track of how long it is between visits. And people don't always tell me what's going on outside. But, uh, let me see. Last guy who came in to see me was the dead guy. Before him, tired eyes lady. Before her, the smiling woman. Before that, it's a little fuzzy. Tell us about the dead guy. Oh man, that's, <laughs> that's some wild stuff. So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and uh, freaked out and starts messing with that uh, computer machine over there. And yeah, then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine and he falls down and then all these uh, sirens and flashing lights. It was horrible, man. Like it made it really hard to sleep, you know? Then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, uh, well, you came in. Tell us about the tired eyes lady. Well, she was, uh, she was a woman, dressed all raggedy, but, uh, I'm one to talk on that. <laughs> anyway, she came in here looking sad. Eyes looked like she had an, uh, Hadn't seen a good night's rest in years. We talked um, for a bit, and then she left again. Sometimes I think I can still hear her voice. Hope she didn't die, and she's haunting me for some reason. Though, now that I think about it, I guess I'd be glad for company, you know? Tell us about the smiling woman. Oh, a real nice lady, man. Had a big old smile on her face the whole time we talked. Just never stopped smiling. I think she said she was a trader. Talked about how she had some merchandise to keep here and some people she was going to deal with. Said I wasn't uh, a suitable client, which, because, uh, I got no money. Well, actually, she said I wouldn't be suitable for her clients, which I thought was a weird way to, uh, to say that. That is weird. What do you mean by a little fuzzy? You know, man, it's, um, I've been here a long time, and I, and I eat a lot of mushrooms. Can't always remember things that happened in the, uh, olden days, but uh, I'll try. There was, there was, um, there was a gentleman bear, the lip licker, and, uh, the bloody screamers, and, uh, and them 
metal fellers, and the really white guy, and the owl, uh, the owl face. Oh, and the six wee men and the lion. But, uh, yeah, hard to remember who came in first, and, uh, which ones were just a nursery rhyme my grandma told me, so... We want to ask about something else. Yeah, 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 okay. Cool. What happened with this dead refugee? Oh, I uh, didn't, uh, didn't we talk about this already? So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and uh, freaked out. Starts messing with that uh, computer machine over there. And yeah, then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine, and he falls down. And then all these uh, sirens and flashing lights. It was horrible, man. Like, it made it really hard to sleep, you know? Then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, uh, well, you came in. We've examined the corpse. It doesn't appear to have been killed by electrocution. It looks like poison. What? That's, uh, that's really something else. Some poison killed that poor guy at the exact same time as that machine zapped him? <laughs> Man, what a, what a wacky world. Why are you in there? Because, uh, the cell door is locked. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> that is precisely the kind of laugh I would assume to hear after that statement. That's not what we're asking. Why were you put in there? Aw, oh, man, didn't you like my joke? Oh, I did. I really, I really did like it. It was my kind of joke. Top notch. Okay, okay, like, well, so a guy I used to be friends with, well, I guess he was more of a, more of a business partner. Friend, though, too, man, like, former friend who decided he didn't, uh, want to go splitsies anymore, so he, uh, he conked me on the head. And when I woke up, um, I, I was in here. Real bummer, man. Like, seriously. I wonder why this is a, a talking point. Why are you in there again? I told you, man. My partner trapped me in here. Thought he was my friend, you know? But, uh, but he wasn't. Logs on the terminal show there was a power surge, like you said, but also several attempts to access the computer afterwards. While those, uh, those alarms were going off? How'd that happen? We'll ask again. Who was trying to access the computer after the power surge? Um, well, that guy, uh, he fell over onto the computer machine after the flash. Maybe he landed on, uh, on the buttons, or on the thing with all the little buttons, or... Oh! Oh, shit, man! Do you think someone snuck in here while I was sleeping and fiddled with those buttons? A prowler lurking about? That's some, um, uh, some scary stuff, man. Yikes. We found a half-eaten mushroom in the corpse's pocket. Oh, yum. Mushrooms are the best, man. So, uh, so many flavors. And they grow every, uh, everywhere and grow easy. I love them. Who knew they were poisonous ones? <laughs> Do you want us to let you out? Um, uh, your call on this one, Rangers, but really, 
I just let nature take its course here, if you know what I mean. I'd, uh, I'd really, really, really like to get out of here. Really. You should probably stay in there for now. Oh, man. Just like everybody else. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'll see you around. Maybe. Oh, hey. Hi again. What's, uh, what can I, I do I think keeping you? him alive would be funny. I want to see what happens, but I don't want to let him go, so. Later, yeah. dudes, and, uh, don't forget to think about getting this door open if you get a chance. I like him, though. He's a cool guy. There's lots of nice murder time. Attacking objects. If your squad skills aren't high enough, sometimes brute force will work to break down a door, smack a misbehaving computer, or forcefully shut down a power generator. Use the attack option in the quick bar or press left control. Certain objects, such as vault doors or ice walls, may require specific damage types to damage. I just want this loot. Ooh, a spent lighter. It's my favorite kind of lighter. Just looking around. I hear scary stuff outside. Hey. You guys. All of you. All five of you guys. What's this way? A big old empty room. What is that? Why is it red? No clue. Onwards. Bravely. Um, I think that's just about it. I mean, we have a couple things more to check out. I don't have toaster repair. So angry. But you know what? Maybe I get Shinny with the nerd stuff to be really interested in repairing toasters. I see that as a positive. I want to go through the garage. I could have used the front door, but I definitely prefer garages. Since I left the garage door open anyway. Yep, totally could have gone that way. We're going to go right out into the cold. So I want to check out What's this? So, is that how I travel? Can I go in here? Is this just for show? A rabbit? Well, that's adorable. Nothing here. Let's... Oh, a ladder. Another one. Which led me to this. Ooh, a damage sensor. You know, I'd say that was worth it. Ooh, a container. How'd I walk right past that? Very nice. Alright, I mean, that is pretty much it. There were some monsters on the side that I do want to take out. Greetings, Rangers. Oh, hello, Vehicle. How are you today, Vehicle? I mean, like, a doggy. No, doggy, come back. Doggy, come back. Where is all of my party? I just want to love out. Ooh, hello. Mm. Whoa, what's that? Whoa, what's that? Oh, a scary tripwire. I do not have explosives three. But you know what I do have? Somebody disposable. Ooh, look at 
look at that. Ooh, look at all of this. Worth it. Tactical, tactical, savage. Requires lots of strength. Oh, I'm, I'm very, very, very happy with this. This was a good trade. It's so good, in fact, I'm going to start equipping stuff. Hey, you. You have enough strength for these. Yeah. Tactical. Crit chance up and armor up. I think that that vibes with you rather well, don't you think? What stats are needed? No idea. Alright. Blah de blah. Blah de blah. There you go. You can have your little scout armor with your buzzsaw shoulder blades. I'm tactical. The tactical ones didn't give as much of a bonus as I thought for that. I will keep the... You can keep the scout armor. I'm going to give you this helmet, because you'll look smashing. And you just got these super sweet legs. Very nice. The Convictor? Rust bucket. Well, yours is way better. Hey guys, I want all of you down here. And gals. What's this? I want the doggy. Doggy. I all made a whole character for talking with <gasps> a cyborg chicken. Cyborg chicken. Bok, bok, bok. Metal plated electronics have been implanted in this chicken's body. It looks up at you, a sense of loneliness in its eyes. You don't see any other chickens around. Cluck. Can I not like... Posturing at nothing, sidestepping and circling an invisible opponent. Can I not just be friends with you? I have Animal Whisper. I just want to be friends. I just wanted a chicken buddy. That makes me sad. Buried items? Do I have a shovel? How do I get to the buried items? Oh, boy! I don't have weapon modding, but oh, man. In the wasteland, you'll find both weapon and armor mods. Installing a mod will improve any equipment it's attached to, but once installed, they cannot be removed. To install a mod, one of your squad members must have the necessary weapon modding or armor modding skill level. To install a weapon or armor mod, select the weapon or armor you want to upgrade and choose the modify option under it. Different mods require different armor or weapon modding skill levels. The better the mod, the harder it is to install. I mean, that is cool as- Oh, puppy! Puppy, puppy! Talk to the puppy! Hey, puppy! <gasps> I tamed the puppy! The dog looks up at you, expectantly. A wolf? Who's a good dog? You're a good dog! The dog's tongue lolls happily as you scratch it behind the ears. That's all for now, dog. Oh my goodness, look at all this good, good stuff. Oh man, I, I love it. Ooh, it's another weapon mod. It's a cut rifled barrel. Simple, consistent rifling on a true bore for improved bullet velocity. The max damage up, the min damage down. So we just make our bullet range, damage range like, Mwah! which is fine. I want it. Where is everybody at? <gasps> Another doggy.
What does the doggy do? Gives you extra pupper upper, extra combat speed. Nice. Dog, dog, dog. So many dogs. I love dogs and cats so much. Alright, I think that's all I could explore on this side. Found a lot of buried treasure. Found a pupper. Made friends with the pupper. Tried to make friends with the cyborg chicken. I mean, he wasn't unfriendly, but he didn't want to follow me around and give me cyborg chicken powers. Alright. So I, I apologize. An old weather-worn pedestal, the inscription is fading and eligible. I apologize if you thought, thought today's episode was less than interesting. Um, if you did think that, maybe you're just not a big fan of RPGs, because RPGs are all about exploring and reading and world-building. So I totally understand if you didn't enjoy it. Next episode we will be going on a mission and there'll be combat. But if you didn't like this episode, maybe you should go watch some Fork Knife. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.